Okay, so update video on actually not the vehicle I'm driving. This is my 04 Tahoe. Ignore the check engine light and the non working oil pressure gauge. Um, my 96 K3500 that I did the complete fuel system on, everything from tank to pump. If anyone that watched that video remembers, when I did everything on that, I tore into it and actually found that I needed to replace the fuel tank that was in the truck at the time. It was about a three-year-old, if I remember right, uh, galvanized steel tank that came from O'Reilly's that had collapsed and rusted out on the inside and looked like crap. I was a little worried when I put everything together on that truck with a brand new stainless steel tank that I might have some damage to the injection pump from potentially running the rust is through the fuel system from that rusted out tank and well I put everything together new fuel set you know new fuel tank new sending unit bigger pickup bigger return air dog 100 gallon an hour at 10 psi lift pump 3 8 in inlet into the injection pump truck ran great for about a month and a half started having some minor fuel system issues that turned out to be a dying injection pump. Kind of aggravating because that was a fresh Alliant Power DS4, which Alliant Power is the company that now owns Stanodyne rights. So, I mean, it was a, you know, remanufactured Stanodyne DS4 injection pump from Stanodyne Factory, which is Alliant Power now. And... I ran shit through it and killed it. Not really happy about that, but it's what happens. So what I'm gonna be doing with that truck is, it's a five speed truck, so converting it to mechanical isn't gonna be that hard. I don't have to worry about transmission control unit or anything like that for a 4080 because it's an NV4500 five speed truck. So as far as converting it to mechanical, the DB2 will slip right in where a DS4 was. The only thing you have to change with it is you have to change the injection lines because the threads on the pump, the back of the pump for the line, where the lines hook up, are a different pitch from a DS4 to a DB2. However, that is all you have to change. I have a 92 655 speed parts truck that I've had for several years. The frames rusted out. It was bought as a parts truck to put the bed onto my brother's truck and the engine into the 93. Some other things have come up. We've got a different engine build plan for the 93 that maybe it'll happen, maybe it won't. I don't know. I'll get around to it someday. But I'm going to take the injection pump, lines, throttle pedal, and throttle cable from the 92 parts truck and put them into my 96 K3500. Why? Well, I have fought all kinds of electrical issues with the 96 from the day I bought it. I've put one pump in it. Like I said, after doing the pump, I have fought all kinds of electrical issues with the dang thing. Anything from previous hodgepodge wiring done by the previous owner of attempts at fixing spots in the harness that looked like they may have been ate through by a rat, bad ground issues to bad crank sensor, just one constant headache after another with the truck. And to be honest, I don't want to put another DS4 in the truck. I still know I need an engine, a complete harness uh, which is the main truck harness and I really don't want to replace that with going to a DB2 mechanical pump all I need to make a DB2 run is I need 12 volt keyed power to the fuel shut off solenoid that can be easily done and then if I want the cold high idle to work right I need the 12 volt power off of the coolant temperature switch in the coolant crossover over to the high idle solenoid on the DB2 injection pump. That can be easily done. Actually, 
I can take all of that wiring stuff off of my parts truck and put it on the 96 because I have a parts truck. If I didn't have a parts truck, yeah, this would be a little bit harder, but I have that and it's actually gonna be cheaper because it's not gonna cost me a dime to take my good pump and harness and everything off of my parts truck and put it on the 96 because, I mean, pumps only have a certain shelf life anyway as far as leaving them sit. That's not good on them, so... Uh, that truck sits... Well, it hadn't ran and... hadn't been started in about a year now, so... It sits another year, year and a half, and you start running into the potential for... gummy fuel and that injection pump needing pulled apart and cleaned and rebuilt anyway, so... I might as well use the good DB2 I have other than buying another DS4 and so stick around I'm going to show quite a bit as far as what to do to make a to do a mechanical swap on a 5 speed truck now if you have a automatic truck there's quite a bit more you got to buy a standalone transmission controller and all that stuff unless you have a 92 or a 93 parts truck that is a automatic truck and then you can take the factory standalone transmission control unit and all the wiring for that. But I'm going to make a few short videos as I do the swap, probably tearing stuff off of the parts truck. And then after I have it together on the 96, I will probably talk about what I did. So if anyone likes listening to me ramble about six fives because I have an unhealthy obsession with them, then, uh, Keep watching. There's good things to come.